I am Michael Vallandingham, pastor of Del Norte Baptist Church, and this is a preview of a new sermon series entitled, No Weapon Shall Stand, from Nehemiah 1 through 7. This week we celebrated the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. His influence is was so powerful because of the vision he had for America. He proclaimed in his famous speech, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at a table of brotherhood. He goes on to say, I have a dream that one day the state of Alabama, whose governor's lips are presently dripping with the words of interposition and nullification, will be transformed into a situation where little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls and walk together as sisters and brothers. Here we stand over 50 years after his death, and we are a nation that struggles to overcome many of the same issues. How can such a persuasive and beautiful picture of the future have so many obstacles. We live in a fallen world of sin that continues to wage war against peace. Nehemiah, Nehemiah finds himself mourning the conditions of his homeland as he served the king of a foreign land. He sees a vision of the city of Jerusalem being rebuilt and begins the painful journey of making that vision a reality. He finds that having such a worthy vision that many others would love to see become a reality did not make the journey easy. God has a beautiful mission for the church today, a vision of the name of Jesus being proclaimed in our city and all around the world. However, there are many obstacles that get in our way as our spiritual enemy fights against us. Isaiah 54, 17 says, No weapon that is fashioned against you shall stand. When we align ourselves with the vision of God, there is no weapon powerful enough to stop us. Join us Sunday as we study how Nehemiah overcame the many obstacles that stood in his way as he worked to accomplish the vision that God had put on his heart. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.